in Surah 28, Ayah 30, it says, But when he came to it, he was called from the right side of the valley in a blessed spot mm. from the tree. O oh, Moses, indeed I am God, Lord of the worlds. Mm. Okay, and? Okay, so what's your question? What's your question? This guy and then now will not get the question. Let me repeat again. It is say as a blast. For, it's a it's it's a spot is a blast. Why the spot is a blast? Because Allah is there. Okay, what is there is the tree. Who was the one was talking? The tree. So Allah said from the tree, I am Allah, your Lord. Does it say that? Okay. So Allah is a tree. Uh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, uh, CP, CP, listen, fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to look about what the ulama has said, what the Salaf al Salih has said about the ayah. Mm -hmm. I cannot die, I'm a layman. Uh, I, I cannot answer directly because this is a matter of well, Aqidah and My friend, you are you, uh, you so are a layman. You, you, oh, yeah. Listen, listen, okay, you are saying to me you do not know the answer. So you are a person who know how to refute me about the Trinity and in this little tiny second question, you are layman. So Mr. Layman, nice to meet you. I have more questions about the Trinity for you. In the same the same story about Moses in chapter 27 it says but when Moses he came to the fire when Moses came to the fire okay. he was okay. called he was called from the fire and it says the sound said what? blessed is the one who is in the fire and the one who is around it is Allah the fire okay. talking yeah, yeah. chapter 27 verse number 8 Chapter 27, verse number 8. Hmm. It says, uh -huh. Chapter 27, verse number 8. Where when he came to it, he was called, Blessed is he who is at the fire and who is around and exalted. That is Allah, Lord of the worlds. <laughs> Mentioned when Musa said to his family, Indeed, I have perceived the fire. I'll bring you from there information or will bring you a burning torch that you may warn yourselves. Hmm. But when he came to, he was okay. Okay, so so your question is that who is okay, the one okay. who is the who, see, who see, is the fire? Me, what you're can asking me, oh. you're asking me a question which is about in the taqida, which most Muslims will not be able to answer unless they have looked and studied about what the Salafus Salih has said about So you are a Muslim, okay, so you are a Muslim, but you do not know, okay, I got your answer. You are a Muslim, but you have no idea what Islam teach. Thank you very much. Now, you are asking me still about no. the Trinity, but still you cannot answer as a Muslim, even if you do not ask the scholars. I mean, why you need to ask the scholars? Isn't it the Quran says that this is a book, we make it in clear in clear details? Does the Quran says that? Quran also says the Quran also says that there are verses which are shubuhat, i.e., which interpretation is not clear, mm. and uh, there are verses which are clear, which are qat'i and which are which are shubuhat, mut ayat -e mut Okay. So you cannot say that every ayah is clear. Okay, but you said, wrong, but, but you but you just said to me in a second ago that those are the answers can be getting from the scholars. So if they are mutashabihat, then they should not be a, a problem for you, for they are not because the scholars they knew you said. Secondly, you just mentioned something very funny. You said that this is mutashabihat. Okay, why Allah he made them mutashabihat? Why Allah made them confusing? Is it? Is, is, I'm, not saying, is I'm not saying that this ayah particularly is mutashabihat. I'm mm. not saying that. Mm. It may be, it may not be. I know that when I study ulama Quran or Rasul al tafsir mm. but I can't say or, or comment on it because I need to see what the tabi'un, the sahaba, the have said in exegesis and the commentary of the Quran, which I have not, so I cannot comment. No it problem, but you just said to me, but you just said question. to you just said to me that Allah He sent Quran, and this Quran will deceive the Muslims because the Quran have verses which is clear and verses which is not clear, and the purpose of those mutashabihat, which is not clear, is to make sickness in the heart of those who read it. Who is the one who read it? The Muhammad, and not us. We don't believe it no, anyway. No, 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 no. Its purpose is not to create sickness. No, no, no. Okay, read the, okay, read the, read the verse for me. Read the verse. No, it causes sickness. It says, وَمَا تَشَابَهَ مِنْهُ ابْتِغَاءِ الْفِتْنَةِ وَابْتِغَاءَ تَأْوِيلِهِ So don't tell me it is not sickness because fitna is a sickness. And then it says, فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ زَيِّغ Those who they have sickness in their heart, they will seek different meaning of it. So why Allah did not make it clear? Is he the devil? 
uh, what, I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't properly listen to what you're saying. Uh, you, why you are not listening? When you quote for me this verse, you just quoted that. I'm this... listening, I'm listening, but I, I didn't catch it. I didn't understand. No, pa, it. okay. When you quoted for me this verse to prove to me to what? To prove to me that the Quran is a stupid book. There's a lot of things nobody understands what they mean. Even the Quran says no one knows what. They... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. It is you who said to me this verse, and the verse saying clearly, no one knows what they mean save Allah. Is that true? In certain verses, the meaning of it, the full interpretation of it, cannot be known to us human beings. Hmm. And we cannot attack Islam on basis on our judgments by those verses. Okay, hold on. So no one knows what it means save Allah. So why Allah sent those verses? Okay, I'm not saying no one knows. I'm saying no one fully knows. No, it, the, the verse is so clear. Don't lie. It says no one knows. It's hiding meaning except Allah. So don't lie. The Quran is saying clearly no one knows any meaning about it. Save Allah. Okay. Okay. So why Allah so, he sent so you those you verses? Why so, so why yeah. Allah? Now you quote for me this verse to prove to me what? To prove to me that there is verses in the Quran. Nobody knows what they mean. Save Allah. Correct? Yeah, okay. Okay, knows. Yes, so yes, yes, let yes. me ask you if this is Allah who sent the book and he said to you clearly that this is a book we make it clear. That's mean this is a contradiction because we did not make it clear. We make it confusing and stupid. And why God want to make it confusing? Because he is the devil. So now you are confused and each time I ask you a question, you say, oh, I am in the, in the, hold on, I am in the confused mood, I am a Muslim, and we are Muslims, we are confused, we are born confused, we are meant to be confused, Allah, he decided to make us confused, because the Quran, half of it is confusing Quran. Okay, okay, Christian priest, listen to me. Mm. You're asking me a question about Islam. Which I'm not I asking not you. I'm not, as I'm so I'm not sorry. asking I'm really you. Sorry. It is you who quote the verses, my friend. You see, I'm, you see, you make it as if I am asking you. It is you who did not, wasn't able to answer anything. I am, I am showing you the stupidity of the Muhammadan when they start saying, oh, how God can be one, how God can be two, how God can be three. And when we show them that their God is many God, when your God in the Quran, he says, that it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, God is one and only. Thank you, thank you. This is a statement taken from the Old Testament. Oh Israel, your God is a God. Hold on, hold on. Let me answer you. Oh Israel, your God is a God. A God is not one, one as unit as as a as number, one as unity. And you Muslims, you took it. Allahu Ahad. If we go right now in the Quran, and if you're trying to learn Arabic, you will see that Quran saying clearly that Ahad mean one off. You can type the word ahead in the search <laughs> engine. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, listen. Listen. You are talking to Christian prayers. Let me school you and let me spank you. This is the word ahead in the Quran. I challenge you to find it for me once in the Quran. Mean wahid. Can you? The word ahead in the Quran yeah, sure. appeared 20 time, 29 times in the search engine. Not a single time mean one except in that verse you mentioned. You must them claiming it's mean one, but the fact is not. Here we go. Chapter 2, verse 102. You go to the meaning, translation, you see, one off. Same. Chapter 2, 136. We will not differentiate between any of them. So one off. Chapter 2, verse number 85. It says, for them. What? And it doesn't matter. Listen to me, CP. It's matter. It's matter because you are the one answering me. Why you quote for me a verse? Why you quote? Why you quote for me? Why you? Why you quote for me a verse? Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Why you quote for me a verse? But yet you don't dare to discuss the verse. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. God. If we go in the Quran, we will find that Jesus was the Word of God. Is that correct? Oh, the Word of God. It, 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 the, the exegesis of the Quran say that the Word of God in the Kalima to who? Hmm. Yes, it means Word of God. But the, the interpretation is that he was, Allah said be and he was. It doesn't mean that Jesus is, is, the, is the speech of God. Jesus is not the speech or the Word of God. Jesus was created by the Word of God and the Quran calls him the word of God, but that doesn't mean he's the word of God. The, the, the scholars 
interpret it in a different manner. <laughs> okay, let us see. Guys, look at this. The Quran call him his call him the word of God, but he's not the word of God. I mean, you just said something very horrible. The Quran call him the word of God, but he is not the word of God. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, they are copy-paste religion. Nobody understand what he is talking about. 